Hello everybody, and welcome to game number two of Ultra Beast. Another fair TV match. Literally unbelievable. Um, Killer Canical. And he's got humans, which to be fair, at 1000 TV is a gain. I mean, there's no good matchups for Chaos at 1000 TV, but at least it's at least it's close in TV. Um, he's got two throwers. And um, a leader. So he's got four rerolls. He doesn't have an apple. And he's got 12 players. So this is a pretty pretty good team. Um, and of course, I should have taken block if I was try-harding, basically. Um, but I took my blow just to, just because I thought if I'm down TV, right, what I'm going to need is to get lucky from Mighty Blow and Claw. So that's what I went for. I am keeping my OCC2 team, um, Carlo Ancelotti. Yeah, I did roll three guard on them, so um, like two doubles on, on zombies. So I'm going to keep the OCC2 team, yes, definitely. And um, I don't know what I'm doing with UK. I'm not keeping my UK BBL. My runners up from the first season, I'm, I'm going to re-roll, hopefully, into Chaos Dwarves. I mean, fingers crossed, Chaos Dwarves actually release on the 15th. And then... Um, and then that'll be glorious, won't it? That'll be actually glorious. Rerolling into Chorf Season 2. That'll be perfect. I'll have nearly set out exactly what I set out to do, which was win the league in the first season, reroll the Chorfs in the second or third season. And I, th I thought they might be out after the first season, and people are like, nah, 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 there's no way. There's no way Chorfs will be out that soon. And I'm like, I don't know. They might be. And they might be. <laughs> so it'll be really cool if they are. Runners up feels hippie man, yeah, yeah. Runners up is a bit lame, isn't it? But I was, I don't think there was much I could have done that game. Maybe I should have gone for blitzing the wolf with my pommer, and you know maybe got lucky. I thought I did need to get lucky to win, so maybe I should have tried to get lucky to win instead of just trying to play solid blood ball and getting fucking smashed to pieces. But I mean, you wouldn't have expected it to be pitch cleared, would you? So I don't know. Maybe there wasn't much more I could have done. I don't feel like I did much wrong. Uh, well, I did a few. I did a few misplays, but they weren't punished. I thought. I thought um, once um, four leagues, absolutely scouty because with the league, um, Nurgle are just so shit for so long. That's the thing. They're just so shit for so long, and while at high TV, Nurgle just beat the shit out of the Chaos Dwarves. Um, the Chaos Dwarves can still just get lucky and win with a claw pom. Um, so, like, it's not it's not all bad for the Chaos Dwarves. They, they, if they if they win the toss and they just beat the shit out, they, they can just randomly beat the shit out of the Nurgle. But it is hard. Um, whereas... It was a little bit Carlo Ancelotti, but the, the first half... Um, I picked up. I tried to pick up with my agility three guy, just so that the wizard wouldn't be absolutely devastating. Because I thought, obviously, the wizard is just going to kill the ghoul with the ball. So I thought I'll pick up with agility three, and then that he failed, and then hippie swarmed the backfield, which I think was you know probably the right thing to do. And then um, I uh, got the ball. There was a massive rook in the middle. I think he should have. Well, I, <laughs> I think yeah, I think he should have wizarded. Um, when I left the ball in contact with a ghoul. There was a turn when I left the ball in contact, and I think he should have bolted either the mummy that was near there or the ball carrier, one of the two. I think that's, I think that's what I would have done, so I guess I think that's what he should have done. Um, but he didn't, and he, he, you know, I ended up managing to score, but it was, it was tough. It was, a, it was a tough defense from him. Second half, I just didn't have the players to try and stop him scoring. I was just trying to fight a little bit, but then got my ball carrier killed. And then, uh, the th then the third half, um, he won the toss. And I started with nine men, and then rapidly ran out of men. He got like three removals instantly, and I just had no chance to stop him. Yeah, they have they have string they have the horses. The bulls are amazing fun. That's very true. Though something that I learned from Pete W is there are times when your bull centaurs have to just be overcosted blackhawks. Um, that is that is one of the keys to. To winning with them, yeah, the third half, absolutely, Carlo Ancelotti. Overtime is is in fact the third half. <laughs> My 
Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow Blitz every turn. Oh, God. I love Mighty Blow Blitzers. Imagine if I had Mighty Blow against them Skaven. <laughs> I would have caused about 500 cards instead of 5. Yep, I could I could have won. Yeah, I could have won if I had got the KOs back and won the toss. I could have won. It was gonna be it was gonna be um <laughs> you would have been sneaking. Um yeah, if I'd got the KOs back and won the toss. Um it would have been I could have made a game of it. Him having the wizard in his pocket, though, and what I would have really loved if he'd if he'd used the wizard when he ran out of he, he, he ran out of time before he used the wizard, which would have just been to stop the score, um, which obviously would have been enough to win the game in the end. Um, but had he done that, and like it fizzled, if his wizard had fizzled, like mine fizzled, um, then I would have maybe been confident of winning had I won the toss and got my KOs back. But he got his KOs back and I didn't get my KOs back and then it was just Shizer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my my wizard was absolute fucking desperation states stakes Carlo Ancelotti. Um it was a two man absolute fucking desperation fireball, yeah. No, I didn't Shawnee. Um oh god. This is absolutely now this is more like this is more like um more like what it's like for me. His first play, no, no turns with 11 players. I don't know how that happened, Sneaker, by the way, this match that we just had. But, um, how much I did, how much skill and luck there is in Blood Bowl? Depends, it depends. Honestly, it just depends. I really don't know because, and it's a hard thing. Skill is a hard thing to quantify anyway, isn't it, right? GT5, this is the thing. You could have, say, me versus, um, let's say, me versus Pete W, right? Or Endzone. And because I've got actually got a winning record against Endzone. So, um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's going to be I am going to get banged up. Um, so, yeah, so, like, you know, let's say, let's say, for example, I am exactly the same. I'm exactly the same skill level as Enzone. Let's just say for argument's sake. Um, when we come down to the game, if one of us makes a mistake, it could, it, it'll probably be a crucial mistake because the, the other one would be good enough to take advantage of it. So skill will be a part of it, but then also... You know, one of us could play shit and one of us could play really well. Even though we both could potentially play at the same level at the top of our game, if you know what I mean. And then you've got like... Um, so it just, yeah, it depends on the team, you know. If you... It, it, sneaker is absolutely right. It depends a lot on the teams being played. Um, on the one hand, there's a lot, lot of luck involved at 1000 TV. But then on the other hand, you know, Chaos. There's a lot of luck involved with Chaos if you've got a Claw Mighty Blow guy and stuff. And they can just go and wreck a team or not do anything and stuff like that. So it's pretty tough to quantify. Early cars are pretty much always always going to be pretty decisive. But, you know, I could roll have the same dice against Pete W and not have a chance of winning. But I could have those dice against, say, Sneaker 134 and still have a chance of winning. No offence to Sneaker 134. So, um... <laughs> you know, or like y you know that. So it, yeah, it's good. And not not even team tiers, just like the actual teams. 
because you know like let's say humans are a, are a lower tier team than say dwarves there could be someone could have a really badly built dwarf team and a really great i mean look how good that orc team was that that orc team that beat me um it was an unbelievably good orc team and um yeah, it wasn't an insult. It wasn't an insult, Sneaker134. It wasn't an insult. But those dice that I got against you, no no one's going to beat me with them dice, are they? No no one is going to beat me, I don't think. If I if I make five cards against anybody, um, then... Yeah, well, of course he wouldn't, Jaleel, because he wouldn't accept the match, would he? <laughs> he wouldn't accept the match. Um, oh, God, look at that. I, I put, uh, unbelievable... Unbelievable. Don't say sorry, though. Piece of shit. My mic's echoing. Is it? Is it really? Or do you just have two, two things open or something? Maybe you've got two... Ad is it? Maybe you've got two windows open. Are you, are you watching Shawnee who hosted me? Um... I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you th yeah, and you've got a mighty bow tackle. Yeah, that's... Like, that's the thing. There's all sorts of things that can... Like, yeah, exactly. Just 1,100 orcs versus 1,100 Skaven. One 1,100 orcs teams could have two... Two dirty player linemen. And the other one could have a block mighty blow, like sorry, a tackle mighty blow blitzer. Well, the tackle mighty blow blitzer is going to have a much better shot against um, Skaven, isn't he? So it's like there's a hell of a lot. Yeah, exactly, Shawnee. The blitzer, the blitzer's the piece of shit. Definitely not the coach. <laughs> I can't believe he's made two fucking blocks. I oh, know he, he he knocked these down, but fucking hell, two cars off like. Two blitzers. Yeah, absolutely steal right. That's why I say bad luck get fucked. Because at least I'm honest. See? Only honest streamer. I don't know if Fashbinder says bad luck get fucked when he plays his opponents, but um unless he does, he's not as honest as me. I never I would never wish somebody the luck that that I had against Sneaker or that Bleeding Hippie had against me. Um, although obviously it took a while for Bleeding Hippie to get his luck, it was more the second half and the overtime that he had a lot of luck. The first half I thought was kind of even, um, was even luck wise, apart from the fact that um, it was proper costly for me. Like I would have expected of course some, some kind of damage with my players and didn't. Oh, <laughs> that's brilliant, Grindel and Grave Master. Yeah, never type in chat. That's a that's a good rule, Flashbinder. Yeah, BLGF stands for best of luck and good fun. Yeah, of course it does. Of course it does. <laughs> Wish for a fair match is good. But, um... Meaning when you say good luck, you don't want them to have good luck. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, when there is a definitive skill difference, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, that's very true, GT5. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. And, like, when you've got, like... Yeah, for example, that game that I played against Sneaker there. Um, I I can't see me losing that game against anybody in the world. No, you know, it just it was just it was just crazy, wasn't it? It was just absolutely crazy. 
I don't see how I don't win that game against anybody with with, with those cards that I cost. I don't see how anybody can... Uh, well, uh, they could have drawn, though. They could have drawn on the last turn in the end. But then I guess if I was playing Pete W, I wouldn't have made the handoff play. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Yeah, what you say doesn't really matter. It's just being polite. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And that's the thing. People can just play well or play bad, can't they? Or, or like, make a mistake. Like, you know? You could be a great player like um, like Purple Goo, and he could just make a mistake that would be enough for him to lose against somebody or whatever. Well, it was it was five. Kaz was pretty lucky, but... Um, it wasn't it wasn't that crazy I guess but it was still it was still pretty lucky it was it was lucky enough that I think but yeah, he did base a lot with AV7 yeah but I mean and I guess that's the thing someone else could have made those plays and I could just one in nine like I won in nine on the fifth block or sixth block instead of the first block so yeah who's to say with all same same dice I could lose against anybody so yeah I guess uh, yeah good point good point maybe I could have lost with the exact same look Who knows? Yeah, I've made, I've made two mighty blow armor, uh, mighty blow blitzes for nothing. He's made two naked blitzes for two cars, and it's like that look there. If if he is if he is Enzo or Pete W or Purple Goo or you know whoever, I've just lost. Basically, I've just lost already by taking two cars in two turns. I've basically lost against against a, a you know a, a top player. Um, <laughs> liquor. <clears throat> Aurelensis was fanning the flames though for you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I do look as AG3 is equal to AG0. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we, uh, in Shawnee's stream though, we decided, liquor that someone should try a, a Hail Mary pass team. Because, it, it, unlike pass, it actually gives them an option of a throwing. Ma a throwing option that they wouldn't have already had. So um so that actually does give them a throwing option. And you know, who's to say who's to say it's not a good idea? We'd need we'd need lots of data before we could say whether it was a good idea or not. Definitely. Definitely couldn't say a Hail Mary pass team is a bad idea. It's just you're not allowed to say that. We don't we just don't know. That's all you can say. We don't know if that would be a good idea or not. <laughs> Forget what you think you know about Blood Bowl. You don't know anything. The only thing that matters are the stats. I just have no players. I feel like I have to stand this guy up to, to be able to even mount a defense. Ho ho ho. Unbelievable, Jeff. You could have absolutely drawn. I mean, you could have drawn with the dice that were there, couldn't you, Sneaker? I mean, you could absolutely could have drawn. First of all, your touchdown could have been in, because it was just two ones out of three dice. But again, you know, if people get those dice, then they're going to struggle, aren't they? And um, and then obviously could have uh, could have drawn in the end anyway with exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah, of course. He love. I bet he loves that, doesn't he, Scroll Dude? Yeah, exactly, Licker, exactly. I don't know, I don't know, Carl Ancelotti, I often... I've always, I always tend to keep people on the ground quite a lot. I mean, especially with... Well, maybe, maybe because I was playing Dark Elves more, you know? And obviously Dark Elves, a 2 plus to run away, is a lot better than a 3 plus to run away, isn't it? And they're still just like naked AV8. It's um, it's not a great play to dodge away with him. And obviously with with zombies, it's a four plus to dodge out. So you're just standing up to get banged on isn't such a great idea. Exactly, VIP bleeding hit. We we don't have the data. Who knows? 
Yeah. <laughs> What's the news? <laughs> There'll be an announcement about it on Wednesday. Maybe cornflakes and milk, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was there was a religious person in in OFL, and that he so obviously Dodd loved having a discussion with him, with all that kind of stuff. Oh my God, Fash, please, Fash, 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 if you're there, please stream the Super Bowl so you can commentate on it, and I don't need to watch the actual broadcast with German commentary that I can't understand. I need fash commentary for the Super Bowl. Holy shit. That sounds like the best thing ever. I could commentate on it. I could do that. I could commentate it. But um, I don't think I could stream it. I'd be pretty biased though. But Grunk ain't playing so I wouldn't be that biased. I'd be pretty biased. We nearly moved him to the wrong square there, didn't he? <laughs> it would be amazing. I'd be the, I'd, I'd, I can't imagine anything better than Fash commentating on the Super Bowl. Holy shit. And he's got pretty close. I, I, hopefully, I'm going to make him score on turn five here. That's what I'm hoping for. Thank you for the follow, Mamaki. <laughs> yeah, he is indeed, isn't he, Bizzle? Hopefully, I can make him score here. So, I've just got to be careful of the switcheroo. Mm, I don't really want this warrior surfed either, do I? Now, this guy can stand up. He can stand in there. Come on, Kazim. I guess I should have done some safe moves first. But um, I just wanted to get this. Get this knocked down into armor break. No. No armor breaks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Man. Feels bad, man. Can go there to swap, stop the switch a little bit. Hopefully this stops the switch. Maybe this maybe this guy won't get served. So he scores on turn five, and then I've got four turns, three rerolls to score. It's a far cry from the last match, isn't it? I mean he's he's done a good job of preventing blocks to be fair. But then he did make two cars in the first two turns. Yeah, fucking snotlings. It's the worst when you hit snotlings and don't even hurt them. Holy shit. Know the feeling like it in Blood Bowl when you fucking hit a snotling and don't hurt them. Oh, man. Well, the thing is, the thing is, Tony plays poorly. Unlike orc throwers, um, a human thrower is is just strictly better. Not strictly better. Um, isn't strictly. Isn't is is. He isn't worse. He isn't worse. He hasn't got a worse stat line than a than a lineman has he? So you're just getting past your hands for twenty k. So 
it's never bad to have him really I don't think it's only 20k I, I don't mind two throws it just going for the straight up one in nine lose the game he's going for it and he's still going to try and stall as well holy shit Orc Thrower is the only is the only positional that has a strictly worse um, stat line than the lineman. Isn't that something else? <laughs> yeah, that is basically the clearest mud. And maybe I should have got the extra one. I was thinking about stopping him in reverse, but I guess now that he's got that assist, he can stall for another turn. So now it's going to be really rough scoring in three turns. Hopefully he just fails this one in nine to lose the game. That's what I'd really like. I'd really like him just to roll a 1 in 9 and lose. But yeah, I guess I should have got another player down. But got, I thought he wasn't really doing anything getting another player down there, but I guess he would have that would have really forced the score. I guess he is good. Yeah, the human throw also has catches he can throw to, yeah. Oh, come on. 1 in 3, you lose the game. It banged on. Oh no, it's not an easy recovery, unfortunately. But. But that's looking pretty good, isn't it? It's looking pretty good. Okay, let's do this one first. I just have to do a 2D here to get this guy into the, into the mixer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I can't go any other way. So I have to do him first, but, I, but then he's in the way now, so I can't. The fuck off my pitch. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it would be a GFI at the end. So I think having him there is better. Do I stand him up first to make this a 3D? Guess I might as well, actually. Because I need the reroll for the pickup or the GFI. Oh, the third dice might have been it. If only I could make two GFIs. If only I could go here and then foul him. I guess he punches. Because why wouldn't he punch somebody? I guess him occupying a blitzer isn't too bad, is it? Alright, that's good. Rip leader. Oh yeah, nice. So Kaz, he didn't use his apple. He hasn't got an apple. Ah. Yeah, that's a good point, Squirrel Dude. Just don't roll any dice and you've got this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely jelly. <laughs> I wish you got the SPPs for fouls. Warriors are in good positions anyway. That's that's good, isn't it? Well, three of them are in good positions. 
Good. Come on, another one. <laughs> yeah, fuck piling on. That's... I can see. Look, I can see the point of everybody who 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 doesn't like piling on, because you know they're the kind of people that don't want to look to lose them a game. But um, I kind of like the fact that um, people it, people can get banged on. <laughs> That's what I like. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck agility four. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard though, because agility four teams are hard to play, aren't they? Sometimes so it's like I don't know. Wow, look at him, bastard, bastard doing his one dices. Maybe I should have one dice that blitzer. I just thought the skull was too bad. But now it's a 50 50 to be skulled instead of a 1 in 3. Oh god, he gets two powers without, without re rolls. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. But I might be able to make a bit of a break here, actually, now. To be honest. Yeah, I might be able to make a bit of a break down the sideline. Right. Started off with him smashing the, him to pieces, or just pushing him. This would this has to be a power, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, got a power there. And then if this, then he can run away, can't he? To here, blitz him, block him, and then have some cover. Obviously, really shit to get that um, reroll gone already. Really fucking sucks. Obviously, don't follow up so that if this is a push, he's still based. Got him. And he's still based anyway. Bust out of this quite quite effectively, really. And I guess he gets to punch him too. Both down and no balls. Balls confirmed. I think it's worth having the guy stood more players in between these three. But I did push him into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI, and he can only base. It's probably a 4 plus to 1 D the ball, isn't it? Oh, yeah, surf's up, but you know, so is touchdown. <laughs> you can't have it all, can you? You've got no balls. <laughs> got no balls! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, piling on it is unfair and it is overpowered. But um you know, it is what it is. Oh, he's not getting surf luck. He's just getting fucking killed. This <laughs> stupid game.
Well, it's it's not a problem of um, it's not a problem of the 2016 piling on nerf. It's a problem of the Norse roster, isn't it? And the Olga roster and the human roster. Well, Foul's not really being shit. Foul's being too random, is the thing, isn't it? And it's not the claw palm is overpowered as such. It's it's too random, isn't it? And piling on Mighty Blow is too random. Now he's going to make the 3-2-2 two, two for the assist. And then the 4 plus for a 2 dice. Outrageous. Yeah, but they corrected it, Bubba Hotep, and it's 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 still fucked. The new piling on rule is absolutely horrific. <laughs> wow, he re-rolls a result that gets the ball down. <laughs> what a motherfucker. I just don't, I can't deal with this. <laughs> he catches it. <laughs> Why wouldn't he catch it? This has been a crazy game, hasn't it? No, I hate, I hate, I hate all of these nursed and piling on that just make them kind of crap. So I, I would just, I would just remove it rather than these weird nerfs. Loads of people have thought of loads of different kinds of nerfs and it's just like, just fucking get rid of it, you know. Right, we need a knockdown. No, because why would I get a knockdown, eh? Why the fuck would I get a knockdown? Oh, he's got to get a knockdown. Good. Yeah, yeah, that's very good, Squirrel Dude. Doesn't actually remove it for the assholes, and it's a noob trap. Yeah, that's true. It is a bad, very bad rules in that regard, yeah. Probably too easy for him, isn't it? The way he's been rolling, this is probably too easy for him. Yeah, chaos, look, I've got no problem with Chaos and Nurgle being overpowered at high team value when they're so underpowered at low team value. So, all these people who complain about piling on and stuff and claw palm, what have you, there's so much that could be done to balance the game that hasn't been done. So why complain about claw palm, you know? That, that, that's the way I look at it. Just have wholesale revisions to the game if you want. Or, but don't just like pretend that claw palm is bad or whatever. Yeah, it costs a reroll, yeah, his answer. A team reroll, so you can't pro it. Yeah, and, uh, I don't know, it just seems stupid. It seems stupid to me. Is he going to score with this? Surely, uh, don't want to help him in cases in the chat. <laughs> Well, of course, but that's what I'm saying. This is this is what's wrong with it, isn't it? I mean, this is what's wrong with, with, with the fucking game. Like chaos are just garbage, aren't they? What he should have done is he should have blitzed with this guy from here, and then he could have um, he could have just handed off instead of doing all these. But he'll make he'll pass every dice roll. I mean, surely he will. And I guess he rolled a one in nine to to get in the situation. So I can't be too salty. I do feel really salty, like he's just passing everything, and he's killing all my players, and it's pretty annoying. But, I guess I shouldn't be that salty. 
Although I don't know how to surf this guy. Guess I just got a dodge. Or double GFI. I guess it's because he made those two cars in the KO. I guess that's what it is. I guess that's why I'm pretty fucking solid. Yeah, he still got the ball. Yeah. Yeah, I should I shouldn't be salty. It's just it's these two fucking cars, isn't it? It's the two cars in the KO. It's just fucking stupid, really. That's that's that, that's what I'm actually salty about, I guess. Or right, at least he came back. And I get to receive, so I guess maybe it's not so bad. Ten versus eleven. It's just this guy's dead. I think this I think this was a niggle. I think that guy's dead. Um, and I guess he's down a leader, which is good. So he's lost a reroll as well. Yeah, it's very true VIP sort of the morning. Yeah, absolutely Bubba Hotel. Yeah. It's just that they're the sort of things that get in your head though, aren't they? Like that's why uh, like that's why Blood Bowl both people can think they're being unlucky, can't they? Because he can think like Oh man, eight times out of nine, I make that dodge and I just score. And I'm like, oh man, if he hadn't made two cars in the first two turns, maybe I could have put up a defense. And then I was just still in my head, even though I've had decent luck since then. Um, I don't think I only needed one reroll in the whole half. Or two. Well, one in the relevant half, one in the first seven turns. But that's it, isn't it? That's Blood Bowl for you. So I don't get to make three dices here, do I? But some two dices. Yeah, er early cars are definitely the most unbalancing thing, I think, in Blood Bowl. something like that in case he gets a blitz. Oh, I guess I might as well do this. I quite like this thing too here because then if they get the blitz they um, they can't break through by going there. The only thing is if it goes wide, you're fucked. And um, that is the bad thing. I don't really like being. I really don't like um, caging so close to the LOS. But. It's better than not having it, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just going to full on YouTube cage it. I know it's not a good player. Um, but it means that I can accept one in nines now. On the LOS. Versus 10. Happy with that. 
I'm officially recovered from my um, my small amount of um, saltiness. That seems good. They pitch you to three players, holy shit. Yeah, the dark ball is pretty cool, I think, yeah. I <laughs> love arguing on the Steam Forum. <laughs> it's funny, uh, although I'm a bit sad that Dode haven't... Well, no one's replied since Dode's replied to me, because um, that was funny. Now Dawes probably thinking, yes, I won that argument. Witter all the ten. That was brilliant by Ori Lenses on the Hulk <laughs> Witter all the ten. Holy shit. Oh, he's brilliant liquor and dodd. It is pretty funny, isn't it? Oh my god, it's so funny, the Steam thing. Oh man. Oh man, I, I love a bit of st hot Steam forum action. <laughs> yeah, well done, Squirrel Dude. <laughs> VIP Squirrel Dude and all that. Alright, let's go. Let's go for a mighty blow blitz. Groundbreaking new strategy that I've formulated here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you, there you go. There you, there you go, Putchnipple. My friend Dodo agrees with me as usual in the right doom behind yeah, the scene things like in real life. Yeah, it's brilliant. That was amazing. That. Yeah, look, Mighty Blow Blitzers, they're better than non Mighty Blow Blitzers. Um. What I probably should have done is actually move this guy into contact as well. I like three players in contact with one player. But he's still stopping assist and stuff, isn't he? So I thought it wasn't really necessary. Look at that. Feeding him this... This little Manta Blitz. His options are Blitz this little man or Blitz this little man, isn't it, really? Neither of which are really very relevant. Already at the halfway 
point, which is pretty good, isn't it? As much as you need, really, for a first five or six turns. Ugh, oh, god damn. Overpowered block. Oh my god. Come off it. What I always find funny is, um, you may know Kano, he's a famous streamer. Whenever he does something like that, he goes like, I have block, you don't. As if, like, it's an achievement that he's he's managed to skill up his rookie blitzer and the <laughs> to his starting block skill, and the the opposing coach has not managed to skill his rookie player up to block. And, like, fair enough if you hit him, you know, like, if you, if you hit this guy and you're like, ah, I've got block and you don't, then it's fair enough, isn't it? But, um... Oh, look what a lucky little <laughs> what a lucky little cunt this blitzer is. It's unbelievable the dice he's had. And against Dom Ray and nine. With very limited hits really, very limited hits. Once again, this whole I'll base the ball carrier, like, yeah, blocks when everyone games. But <laughs> that's the sort of thing that he does. He'll, he'll like, he'll hit the, he'll hit their player, their unskilled player, and they'll be like, ah, oh, I've got block. You don't. Like, yeah, all right, we know. We know people. People don't get to start with block magically. Should have done safe moves first there, really. I could I meant to shuffle across, so I should have I could have already shuffled across. I don't mind three guys in front here. Basing the ball carrier has indeed won games, yep. Yep. Generally not basing it on turn 10, though. <laughs> Usually basing the ball cutter on turn 10 is not is not a game-winning move. Usually. Depends. Obviously, there's exceptions. You know, if, if you've fireballed and you've got a blood step, diving tackle, gut runner sh with shadowing and basing the ball, stuff like that. But usually, just a rando fucking base on the ball with no other players based. Like, you know, what's he called? Um, when VIP Bleeding Hippie based my entire team, the base on the ball was a pretty... a pretty troublesome situation to be in. <laughs> yes. Orc throwers? Obviously, passes from Orc throwers have won games, haven't they? So, um, you know, Dole's probably got some stats on that as well. I guess he's going to go heavy basing now. Now that he's a man up again. Consistently outbashed by humans is not the place to be, is it really? Nine men. He's got ten. And I've got to protect the ball. It's almost enough to make it go fishing on Pokemon Sun. Almost. Might blitz the mighty blow guy this time. Oh, I guess not now that he's moved him though. Oh, he's blitzing the canoring threat. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, glass boy? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, throwers! Holy shit! Oh yeah, that was the long bomb, wasn't it? The long bomb. I remember that. Okay, now. Oh, he's blitzing that guy. Fair enough. Got to base the. Got to base the cage. Gotta base the ball carry, yeah. just got it.
Mm. I, I want a Blitz with Mighty Blow. Of course. Oh, I'm going to feed the Mighty Blow guy. Can I do that? I, I want to Blitz with him, though, because then he's in contact. I bet this would have been like a Kaz with Mighty Blow. No, seven. Alright, so we've got one, two, th one, two, three, four players in here. I've only got one more. Nah, it's too much work, isn't it? It'd be really cool, though, to block him, chain him into him, and then 2D him with my E-Blow as well. I just think it's too much work. Four players. It's about how many people I committed to it anyway. <laughs> Good. Yeah, just waiting for me to make a one in nine dodge away. <laughs> yeah, true, Glade Master. True. I did base the ball, didn't I? But I, yeah, and I did base it relatively early as well. But I mean, I did base with two strength four, so you couldn't really, you couldn't reliably block it away. He's played pretty well, though, to be fair. To be fair, he's played pretty well. I just don't like the must base at all costs all the time, you know. I really do think it's it's pretty newbie to just base the ball constantly. Because, um, I, mean, I mean, there was times there where probably last turn I didn't need a blitz. I could have just um, blocked him with a ball carrier and then used the blitz somewhere else. But, um, yeah, I think it's a bit newbie just to blitz, just to mark the ball every turn. But he, he's he's played fine to be honest. If he hadn't if he hadn't won in nine that dodge away, he would have scored, wouldn't he? Would have stalled it as well. He's trying to stall out more. He wasn't trying to score like you know, he wasn't trying to score into in turn turn twelve like into my hands. So he's um he's definitely played fine. But then it is easier to play fine when you make two cars in the first two turns, of course. I'll reroll there. Greedy, greedy dingo. Greed rerolling. Don't know what his what his thought process was there. Just realised I can go fishing on um on Pokemon Sun while I'm playing Blood Ball. It's, um, it's not a bad idea. Hello, Ebibis. He's all men's contact and Le Double Skulls. Feel bad about your um about your greed reroll now, buddy. Can I surf? Him. I want to. <sighs> mm. 
Put a guy in there and a guy in there, so he's got three assists. Push into there. A guy there and a guy there. Push him to there. Block him to there. But then, then that's taken up there. So two guys here. Push him to there. Block him to there. And then run him this way. So two guys. Which would be one, two. One could be the ball carrier. It's pretty fucking risky though, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. GFI. Oh, this guy. Got him. Well, maybe. I want him to base him, so it's going to have to be the ball carrier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. So I think this is pretty safe. Could reverse easily, yeah. Um, can he get somebody in a chain? A ball carrier out? I don't think so. Save from this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. I mean, that's really hard, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. That's really hard. I'm much more scared of these guys, I think. I mean, can always try to get back to the middle next turn. I really wanted to surf that guy. Maybe should have reversed. I do like reversing. But I think it's going to be back to the middle turn 14. And then forward 15 and 16. I mean this is tough isn't it? 4 plus dodge. And 2 GFIs to 1 dice in. I mean maybe he thinks it's worth it. Ball could go on the fucking crowd as well, which would suck. Plus, he, plus his blitzer gets surfed afterwards. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? It's a pretty good quote. I feel like I should be able to force it through next turn. Just basing me, isn't he? Because he's got more players. 
I just think he does sound like him. Uh, I don't know. I think is just my um, is just my sound effect for people who talk shit. Don't know why. Ah, uh, he's doing him to get round back to the middle or something. I guess. Yeah, he's just basing everyone because he's got more men's, which is fair enough. But my men's are strength four, aren't they? <laughs> Can't see the one D. Fash really hates the one Ds, doesn't he? Really hates One Direction for some reason, does Fash. What joke? What joke, squirrel dude? <laughs> I wasn't. I'm not paying attention to what I'm saying. So, um, sorry. Right, we've got four players can make a fucking YouTube cage. Oh yeah, he hates One Direction. Yeah, it's true. I always call One One Day's One Direction. Right, I got to power him, haven't I? I got I just got to power this fuckhead. Um, I guess I could reverse back to the middle here, but that seems really fucking lame. I think I just got to power. Smooth power this guy. This guy could do it, I guess, so that he goes there and then the push is better. But so fucking what? And then I then I then I go back to the middle. Yeah, I quite I quite like this actually. And obviously on the pal, we get him. Not only a pal. A KO. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can get there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. Does the full end sync vibe? <laughs> oh dear. Right, I can use a reroll this turn as well, so that's good, isn't it? See, now this turn, basing the carrier, is a lot more exciting, isn't it, for him? Huge. Huge. <laughs> Look close, it's time a YouTube cage and yeah. Look, I mean it is it is the strongest cage you can make with five players, isn't it? At the end of the day. Yeah, the mighty blow really paying off. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, look, I've made a Kaz and two KOs, but he he has made he has made three Kaz and a KO with fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> But right now it's nine versus nine, isn't it? I believe. Th three, six, eight. He's only got eight. Ah, oh, yeah, because the surf as well. So he's got eight. And I've got nine. Of course, the six players cage is stronger, but it's the closest. It's actually the the strongest cage you can make with five players, isn't it? That's just a fact. 
the safest cage or strongest, whatever you want to say. Yeah, I did leave that open. I did think about making the GFI once I'd made the dodge successfully. But it was too late by then, wasn't it? Because I'd, I'd done it all as one action. But I thought maybe what I should have done was move to here. And then if I'd made the... if I'd, yeah, He's just... He doesn't fucking fail dodges apart from that first one. Uh, hey, look, I've used the nine-man cage against, uh, against Russ before. The old nine man anti strip ball cage. You can't diss that. And he gets the catcher in as well. Oh yeah, he need guard in the cage corners, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's played pretty well, to be honest. To be honest. He's played pretty well. Imagine if he got a skull then. Wouldn't have made much difference. <laughs> you can't make that, surely. Wow, he fucked up. He done goof doing that. Did the right thing based on these, but now he gives me the uh, the chain, doesn't he? numerous ways. In fact, he's, he's, really, he's, he's really fucked up by putting him in there. He goes out and just blitz him. Simple. Smash him to pieces. Death. When you base my ball carrier, you deserve a death. I think that's fair. Only got two men's, but where do they go? He's going to make a dodge. Like to go here, but then he can just simply two dice him away, That's it, man. and then he can get a on, minus one. So if I go here, then he's got to go through there, which is tougher, isn't it? Or around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, legend. two GFIs. The fucking legend. It's not easy though. It's actually not easy. I could sideline cage it, I guess. But then I can't because it's, um, he's got to make a dodge. The second one's got to make a dodge. Why did I push him to there? Did I push him, just push him? No, I didn't push him to the wrong square. He was dead. Do I just go across one? Is that what I do? One, two, three, four, five, six.
guess that's probably more sensible. Oh yeah, well there you go, Jelly. I I realised that <laughs> just as you said that. Oh shit, I missed the missed the bite. Yes, no, I'm told. Block blocks gonna make you more knockdowns. However, mighty blow is gonna is if you're blitzing. You know. Mighty blow. If you're blitzing somebody with block, if you um, oh, I can't score. He's he's not bad. This guy and he's got he's got throws and catches. So um, I reckon he's got. I reckon he'd score. In two turns against me, definitely. I reckon he makes the KO rolls, and he's got ten players, ten players with a movement seven thrower and a catcher. I I wouldn't be confident in in stopping him. Um, yeah, so it just depends. If you only block blockless players, then block is good. But, um, is that against blockless players, Fashbinder? But what about if you're making blocks against players with block? Um, yeah, against which AV? Well then you can take both downs with the with the um with a mighty blow. <laughs> then simply the mighty blow takes both downs and it's just better, isn't it? Alright, good. Turns out the stall the stall was pretty easy. Um Now I guess I'm not gonna try and fuck this up. I could make a three D, couldn't I? But um Nah. Nah. Yeah, but if you only want Kaz SPP, then you can take the board downs, can't you? No, but you could, Norm, do it if all you cared about. If well, you just said if I only care about Kaz SPP and nothing else. In that case, then you take the boat down with the mighty blow. So that's the you know can't have it both ways. Um, but yeah, if you were playing properly with him, then he's just going to block. Then you can block block players though. So then it actually leads to more knockdowns. If you blitz block players. Then your might, then your, then your mighty blow guy gets more block knockdowns. So there you go. That that's the key thing. You've got to remember, like you know, if you've if you've got a mighty blow, I'd rather blitz. See, this is the thing, right? If you've got a block player, you blitz this lineman for damage. If you've got a mighty blow player, you blitz this blitzer for damage. So the mighty blow guy hits better targets, and he gets more knockdowns than the block player would against this player. Fair enough, the block guy gets knocked down 75% of the time against this guy, and he would only get knockdowns 55%. But he gets knockdowns more than 55% against this guy, because when he gets the to both down, he re-rolls it. Whereas if you if you blitz with your block player and you got both down, you'd keep it. So, um, so in that respect... Um, I like it. I like it. I did not. My hairstyle is nothing like the Sage's hairstyle, Squirrel Dude. Yeah, well, I, I do consider Kaz SPP and. When I want Kaz SPP, I got Mighty Blow first every time. Every time. Mighty Blow, Claw, Piling on, Block. If I want Kaz SPP, that's the way I go.
Ah, but as lizards, I'd go block. Yeah, it's almost like it's almost like Sage is gone. What do, what do streamers look like? Oh, they've got they've got gimmicky hairstyles and facial hair. I'll copy I'll I'll copy one of them. Yeah, exactly, Eric behind me, yeah. Well, with dwarves, I'd go... go I'd go guard first and all the line. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think so, Coach King. <laughs> yeah, true, no, I'm Yeah, true. i just go Mighty Blow first on the... Um... Yeah, Pylon. See, the thing is, Pylon isn't... Isn't just good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Orion answers. Um, yeah, that's the thing with the piling on. With the piling on first, it means you make less blocks overall. Obviously, you can make the sixteen blitzes if you want to blitz them every turn. If there's people nearby. But um, yeah, I reckon I, I I like mighty blow. I always go mighty blow. When, if I just purely want to skill someone, I go my evil. Hello, the other one. It's not very skilled. The only the only skilled player is is a is a mighty blow. Chaos warrior. Second match. Thank you for the follow, creature god ninety nine. Unbelievably, two even TV games as well. If you can if you can possibly fucking believe that. Skilled as a pineapple shape dildo. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think there's going to be more after this game either, is there? Got got a few guys on four, a few warriors on four. But yeah, it was a different it was a different beast man that scored. Oh, because th th this guy was back to pick it up, but then he caught the kickoff, so. Obviously, I wasn't about to fucking hand it off. No rerolls used on offense. That's pretty fucking nice, isn't it? It's pretty nice. Didn't fail anything. Pretty lucky. Got to be a bit lucky sometimes, haven't you? Yeah, well, there you go. As Eric behind me says, yeah. If you go Mighty Blow first, it means you get the claw Mighty Blow quicker. So... I like to go mighty blow on one of them and then block on the others. I like go I like go block guard on block guard on three and claw mighty blow or mighty blow. Um, no, it's a bit late now to be honest, coach gaming. I don't think I'm gonna do another one. Um, no fame again. Sad times. Nine armor breaks to six, but his six armor breaks resulted in three injuries and three KOs. <laughs> Whereas mine nine resulted in one one cars and two KOs. That's why I think I was um I he comes to cast himself. I think that's why I was so salty in that game. I mean I wasn't mega wasn't mega salty, but um it was hard to take that he cost so many cars. Oh wow, MVP for the Mighty Blow guys, he's two away. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's a fair way. I got minus AV, that guy. He's a fucking dead guy, for fuck's sake. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Yeah, it's a bit late now. I, I definitely wouldn't be playing my best. So, um... Yeah, Mighty Blow first on the Troll Slayers, and I'll go Guard first on everybody else. On Dwarves. <laughs> Counts the number of times you 2D, lad. <laughs> Yeah, if only he'd caused a Kaz, yeah, he'd have leveled up, double leveled in two games. That would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Holy shit. Um, but still, plenty of Kaz overall on the team. 
These two are both a Kazra touchdown away. He's a Kazra touchdown away. Um, one of these two can carry. Hopefully get the skill soon. <laughs> 